Hey everyone, uh, Dang the Chair from the uh, StarCraft yeah. 2 Garden site. Bring you a tactics video on the Void Ray, which we'll demonstrate in a second. So yes, basically the Void Ray is a uh, Protoss anti-capital unit, I suppose you can say. It's um, incredibly good against uh, armoured units as well as uh, massive units. And yeah, as you can see it can attack both uh, ground and uh, air targets. And yeah, it has a little beam that um, basically, uh, once fully charged, can do quite a bit of damage. So we'll just have a look actually. So it's a prismatic tr beam that uh, yeah has a bonus. This is armoured. And yeah, although it doesn't actually say that it's there, I'm pretty sure it has bonus versus. There we go. This is ma yeah, this is massive units. <coughs> so they're produced by the um, Stargate, and uh, yeah, they can actually be produced from the beginning of the game. You can use them for early uh, harassment. Actually, I think I'll just get one just to indicate that. Um, just to show, show that. Show. So, but um, yeah, you have to make sure that uh, your Stargate is hidden as much as possible. Otherwise, yeah, the opponents will produce. Uh, additional uh, units to defend, although yeah, if you uh, couple the uh, Void Ray with the uh, Phoenix when using it against the Zerg for example, you could use the uh, Phoenix to pick up the Queen as soon as... Actually, see, ah, there we go. So yes, there it is. So yes, you can use it to pick up the Queen with a good old-fashioned Graviton Beam. Get close to your bastard. I guess screw it, we'll just pick it up there. Because, yeah, one on one, um, a Void Ray won't fare too well against the Queen unless if you charge it up on uh, something beforehand. So, that's a rather important thing to do uh, when you're using Void Rays in general. Um, if you can get them charged up on something. Uh, no, that was, wasn't too long. There we go. <laughs> if you can get them charged up on uh, something before attacking, then, um, yeah, you can do uh, quite a bit of damage. And interesting. No, not yet. So anyway. <laughs> Um, and yeah, as you can see, yeah, getting them to charge up on things like enemy buildings and all that uh, is a good idea. Especially, and yeah, it even allows them to do things like take on uh, dedicated anti-air structures like this missile tower. It's provided that the bastard's charged up beforehand. You can, as you can see, uh, it's actually... Oh, okay, now, well, probably should have brought in a second void, right? But um, uh, there we go. It'll barely <laughs> take it out. But um, yeah, if, if you didn't charge up beforehand, then uh, yeah, you wouldn't be able to take on... Uh, enemy anti-air structures so easily. <coughs> and of course, yeah, now you'd be using uh, more units as well. So yeah, there's a couple of things you can charge up Void Rays on. Um, commonly, if you're anticipating attack on your base, you can charge them up on your own buildings. Uh, sometimes you can sacrifice a Phoenix, like, as in you fly a Phoenix along with a couple of Void Rays, and then you take out the Phoenix with your Void Rays in order to charge them up. Or uh, you can sometimes use destructible rocks uh, when attacking Terrans, um, using add-on buildings is a pretty nice idea. They don't have as much uh, health as regular buildings, so you can actually possibly even destroy them by the time you finish charging off your Void Rays and uh, yeah, taking out uh, things like reactors on barracks. And a Star Force is also pretty useful to stop um, the opponent from producing so many Marines, which can take out your, your uh, Void Rays. So yeah, Void Ray is pretty effective against armored and massive units, such as those uh, capital units we saw before, the Corruptor, the uh, Carrier, and the Battlecruiser. The battle cruiser, though, you have to watch out for the Yamato cannon. If they've got it upgraded, then uh, yeah, they can take out the Void Ray in a single shot, which uh, is not too good to say the least. So to counteract that, you can use uh, High Templar um, to uh, feed back the battle cruisers beforehand to drain their energy and also deal a bit of damage. And then yeah, they can use the Void Rays on them. So just something to keep in mind there. With Void Rays, you also have to watch out for uh, numerous smaller units. So Basically means they won't get uh, time to charge up the beam on each unit. So units, um, you know, such as mutilisks, marines, uh, stalkers, that sort of stuff, yeah, will do a pretty good job against void rays, to say the least. <coughs> Although void rays don't do too bad if they're fully charged up beforehand, but yeah, they're really uh, weighted towards um, taking out the uh, heavier units. Yeah. And yeah, they generally don't do bad in, don't do too bad in harassments. They got slightly. Uh, larger range than marines, so you, if you can actually bait them towards the edges of cliffs, for example, um, you can actually attack them from barely within their range, provided that, uh, yeah, you micro your, uh, really, but they're bad. of course, provided that you micro your uh, void rays well enough. And also, another thing about their prismatic beam is that they actually can fire on the move um, within a limited firing arc, although if you do that, um, if you let them fire on their own, 
then uh, yeah, they'll basically uh, pick what they reckon is the best target, which might not actually be the uh, targets that uh, you want them to aim at. But yeah, it's still a nice little touch actually that they can do that. It's a shame that um, more units can't find the move, especially given that this is the uh, the far future and many units have to be stationary to fire, which is pretty ridiculous. I mean, you, it's one thing if they get maybe accuracy bonuses while firing stationary, but being unable to find the move is just bit of an odd thing, but there you go, it's part of what makes the game different, I suppose. So yes, uh, until next time, this has been uh, Dane Vavich, uh, signing off. And also, yeah, remember to check out the StarCraft 2 Garden site for uh, more details about the Protoss.